Hey, Vizant here, Adventure Rank 42, and as you play, you're gonna learn a few things, like attack percentage isn't great as some other stuff. Work on one or two DPS, it's gonna run out of resources. Good thing I've been pretty much with all my back is on Ingua. He is my main. I'm also working on Noel right now as my second DPS, because I need it for Spyro Abyss. And we're gonna talk about Ningua and oh my freaking god, missile coming at me. Ah! <laughs> Alright, let's talk about how Ningua kind of works. I'm in the middle of a mob right now. So her regular attack kind of shoots two gems, right? It kind of home when you're within the vicinity. And each, each attack gives you a star jade. You notice these rocks, gems behind me. Oh god, it's running away. And then if you do a charge attack, it'll shoot a charge attack. And it'll shoot all those star jades and those kind of home too as well. Her elemental skill is the J screen right here. This J screen does AoE damage, geo damage by the way. And it also project protect yourself from projectiles. There's like a guy behind here, and it'll shoot me. Uh, it would it would protect. Oh. Come on, Archer, shoot me, shoot me, shoot me. All right, what's it up? I think that blocked it because I saw a number, but I'm not sure if it hit me or, or the wall. There you go, hit the wall. Okay, so now if you have Star Shatter, which is the elemental burst, just kind of I like to call them heat seeker missiles. Uh, they kind of heat seek onto different things, and then if you have a J screen, it'll give you extra bullets. Get rid of them real quick, and it's super nice. Um, does a lot of bit of damage. Get rid of this guy, and I'll show you again how OP the <laughs> elemental burst is. All right, we're directly above an assassin. Drop down. Hopefully, I get my my Q skill pretty quick. Let me just do my. Alright, go invisible. Oh, go invisible. Alright, I'm gonna heat seeker missiles. They kind of just home onto him, regardless. He comes out of there. Oh my god, Assassin has no part in this. Look how much damage that did. Ningua is a freaking beast. She freaking nukes. Alright, let's quickly go over the weapons. Skyward Atlas, Lost Parrot, they're both pretty good, so whatever fancy your pickle, but I think Lost Parrot is slightly better. Uh, Wing and Wine and Song. Uh, she's not a monster character, so forget that. Wind Sif, you get one third chance of getting Elemental Mastery, then you're kind of lacking, then this this part has become useless. Uh, then you have to like kind of switch out again every 30 seconds, so I think that's kind of bad to count on, so forget about this. Solo Pro is very good for her. Normal attack increases skill damage, Elemental Burst, and then likewise, he's flop, flopping around, and it gives crit rate, so that's also good. So if you have crit rate, then you want crit damage on your artifact. Uh, we'll go over that later. Sacrificial Fragments, Elemental Mastery, nah, you don't need it. <laughs> Roar Grimmar is alright, it gives you crit, a crit, uh... Increase your crit rate until you get a crit, and then removes them all. It's okay. Uh, then we have Prototype Malice, this you can craft, so if you're really lacking a 4 star, you can go with this one. It allows you to use your Elemental Burst, because her Elemental Burst is super good. And then it requires, and then you can heal, so you can run without a healer, you can use... It does scale by HP though. Elemental Mastery, you don't need it. Any recharge, eh, you can think about it, but uh, I'd rather use the other ones. Eye Perception is very good for her. It's like a small Skyward Atlas in a way, and it does Chain Lightning. Uh, Black Cliff Amulet, uh, Defeating Enemy, yeah, but you're, you're doing Spiral Abyss, you're going to be fighting enemies until they die anyway, so not point. All three stars are kind of trash first, so don't even worry about it. Alright, uh, side story here, but my first five star was a Skyward Atlas. My second five star was Skyward Atlas. My third five star, finally a character, it was Mona. All right, so here are my Ningua stats. We have HP here, attack here, crit rate here, crit damage here, energy recharge here, and we have geo damage bonus here. So the ones you kind of, I guess we could do by priority or whatever, you kind of want crit rate, crit damage, and geo damage bonus. Uh, attack, be right after that. And then we also have uh, HP and energy recharge. The, the, the reason why crit rate and crit damage uh, and the geo damage bonus is one of the ones you want to look for because we're going to go over the formula later, but TLDR, um, these scale way better than attack. Attack scales only on weapon attack and character attack, so it's kind of... It doesn't scale as high what what you think it does. It's kind of a trap. 
Okay, and the HP is good because it's helped you scale the J screen, and the energy charge is good because of her skill. Uh, let's just quickly look at this, right? Her our our skills are like 12 second cooldown here, 12 second cooldown, and uh, energy cost is only 40, 12 second cooldown. So you want to just keep dishing these out as much as possible. Her ultimate is pretty good, especially if you have it with the constellations. All right, let's briefly look at the constellations. Uh, her power kind of spikes are in C1, C2, and C6. The first one gives you normal attack AoE, so they kind of do like a crowd control thing and you kind of hit everything in a group instead of hitting one at a time. That will help you greatly. This one is extremely good because when your J screen is scattered, you can do the J screen again, right? And the J screen actually summons an AoE thing, right? So that's good. And then we have Constellation 6, which when you do the Star Shatter, it summons 7 J's. And 7 J's is crazy. You can do charge attack and all of J's do, do damage. If you actually look at, um, let's see, her, her talents here real quick. You do a charge attack, you get 74%, right? And if you have 7, it does like, what, extra 500% damage? So that's nice. Yeah, and those J's are on top of the regular charge attack. What, 200 something percent? Oh, that's freaking crazy. Almost 700% damn. Oof. Alright, so here's my current set of artifacts. Back in the day, I was running martial arts. That's pretty nice. There's no 5-star martial arts, unfortunately. Because I might actually use that instead of Gladiator if I had the choice. Um, just because of what I'm going to talk about later with attack and everything. <laughs> but, the sets I'm using is the Gladiator's Finale and the Archaic Petra set. Um, let's talk about the Archaic Petra set for a second. So the two set is good with the game, 15% geo uh, bad damage. But the four set is what people are kind of talking about. I can click on this. So there is a typo if you guys didn't know. This is actually supposed to be elemental damage. So upon playing a crystal through the crystallization elemental reaction, our member gained 35% elemental damage to that particular element for 10 seconds, only one form, blah, 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 blah. Um, this damage buff is good when you pick up a shield as a support, right? It doesn't increase Ingwa damage. It doesn't increase Geo damage. So it's kind of useless if you want to use her at the main DPS, but as a support, it is very good, okay? Um, so most of the shields that drop is what? Pyro, uh, Cyro, Hydro, and Electro, right? These are the main, the main ones that actually form when you're doing your crystallized reaction i know that sonic the hedgehog monster out there does drop geo shards too bad we can't get them on demand so this isn't great for ningua okay so that's why i'm only running a two-piece here um and i'm running the five star gladiator set because that's the only other five star that increases dps for ningua in general all right, so we have the flower here. The primary stat is always HP. It's the same. Uh, the one you want to look for is the substat, which is like what attack, attack percentage, crit rate, crit damage, energy recharge, HP are okay too. And the feather is the same thing, except the primary stat is attack. Uh, the next three is what is more RNG based. You want attack percentage as the primary stat here. Out of all the stats, this is the only one that boosts DPS because the other ones like defense, HP, energy recharge, energy mastery. You don't really need that as much as attack. Attack is nice. And uh, for the next few st slots, you don't want attack percentages because of how attack percentage stales only on character attack and weapon attack. But we'll go over that later. So the cup, you want geo damage bonus, her attack, her charge attack, her elemental skill, elemental burst, everything does geo damage. So this will scale pretty much all overall damage by this percentage. And of course the subset, you kind of want the same thing. Last one is a little bit trickier. So it actually depends on your weapon. So if you have your weapon secondary stat, uh, let's just go to my weapon. Secondary stat, if it's attack or not crit rate, anything about crit rate, you want crit rate on that artifact, the last slot, uh, the mask slash hat thing. Um, but if you do have crit rate here, then you want crit damage for your artifact here. All right, it's time to do some math time. <laughs> Here's the infographic I made. Hopefully this will help you understand. So let's look at the first line here first. We have the base attack of the character and then plus the base attack of your weapon. That's kind of like your base. And then that times one plus your attack percent of all your artifacts and weapon combined. And then you add your flat attack and that is kind of your like your, your attack value there, right? 
And then you kind of notice on the bottom here, these, these multipliers. So that's why uh, attack is actually within this equation. It's not like part of the multiplier here. So that's, it, this is in here, it's much smaller impact than these right here. Because this multiplies this whole thing. While this just multiplied the character attack and the base attack. And that's it. And then we have the elemental damage. So I'm using a, this kind of generalized to everyone. Um, I made a geo because I, you know, I'm a geo main, but this can represent any elemental or physical damage. So if you're using like physical attack, then this will be your physical damage bonus. And then if you're using a fire, fire elemental damage bonus, if you're doing a fire. And then here we have another multiplier that if you crit, then you add the crit damage onto it. Of course, if you don't crit, then you don't add the damage on there, right? Uh, so. You kind of want to balance out all your stats. If you think about it this way, if you have lower attack percentage or low attack, then this kind of value is kind of smaller. And then when it's multiplying, then it's kind of, uh, you're multiplying with a smaller base. Uh, also, if you have uh, too much crit, then, then you might have not, not enough damage, you know, just critting, you know, just increased by a little bit, which is not, no point, right? If you have too much damage, if you're not critting, then this whole thing is useless. So you kind of have to keep, dip, Balancing it out because there are diminishing returns. Uh, you can't, you shouldn't really stack too much in one part because of that. Because uh, if you, and also when you think about it, is that when you take you increase one stat, you're you take up a slot for another stat to upgrade. All right, so here's the talent modifiers. Uh, if you go look at your talent, you see the damage percentage. Like sometimes, I think Ningua's a normal attack is like thirty something percent. So you just time that by thirty percent. That's your damage formula. This is without resistance and stuff. Okay, this is just like the base kind of damage formula simplified to make you guys understand it all right now that we're done with like the meaty greedy stuff let's just do some boss battles or just random battles and notice my what's my damage and stuff like that uh, my artifacts aren't actually maxed out i do have a four star all right i'm gonna get hit whatever okay that's fine beach this and put my J screen down, unfortunately. Let me just heal up. So I just took that to the face. <laughs> it's kind of hard to play and talk at the I mean, battle and talk at the same time, right? But yeah, I have a four star artifact, Hourglass, and I'm upgraded. It's plus zero and it's a four star. I mean, I do have five star artifacts though, but yeah, you can notice it kind of homes. The shield's already over. Alright, uh, I don't have any. Grab all the. To be honest, I'm not even gonna bother collecting. Oh my god, I'm missing so hard. All right, cool. And there's that boss battle. Let's go to do some more. Yeah. All right. Why don't we go fight the ocean in here? Swim across. You notice my party? I'm not actually using any elemental re re resonance. I think I'm even saying it right. Yeah. Uh, I did. Could run to Geo to get the shield buff, I guess, if you have a shield. No shield is nice when you're using Geo, because then you can like summon shields. And then you can like take less damage from like the frog and the bird. Alright, let's go. Let's go. Oceanid. Just try gonna only use use uh Ningua. Look that later. Right, I think if you go far away, it takes less damage. Yeah, I still have my shield. We good. Dude, my Skyward Alice Cloud War was like. Nee, 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 nee. All right. Oh my god! Give me some. Give me some shields. All right. Alright, I'll just swap the heal and that's pretty much it. Just talking and, and, and doing this at the same time, kind of explaining things. Dude, I should focus. Let me just kind of focus here. I could just use elemental reactions as well. Yeah, let me grab a heal real quick first. Oh man, birds! I think I have homing attack. Right. Shields! I 
minute, never mind. <laughs> Grab some shields here real quick. Oh, we also got birds, all right. Oh, I want to target the, the chicken. Oh no, my jades! I just wasted my jade. I'm playing pretty badly right now. <laughs> Frog here. Right. Missed them iframes though. Heal. Yeah, I just tank. Good. Thank it. I have water shield. Yeah, I'll just totally run away. There we go. We beat the ocean. It. Go fight some other random bosses or random. Yeah. Oh, look who we found here. Easy just to destroy. You just put up a shield and you just kind of just chill behind it. And if you teleport behind you, just go, just go in. You can also get a buff by going in and out. Yeah, so if she goes behind you, just go through the shield. Can't really hit you. Like, you might do like the random electric AoE, but you can kill her so fast. It's like, just like, oh. Alright, we're gonna go to that rune hunter over there and destroy that too. Kind of a long trek though. Flower plant. Let's go. Let's go deal with this guy too. Let's pull up the shield. Really block that, cause that that kind of go under. Buff. Boom. All right. Dead. Moving on. Oh god. Might as well heal, right? <laughs> I'm gonna go fight that guy. Do not know. Taller characters do run faster than shorter characters. You can you can kind of use the status shot to also iframe. Who should we kill next, huh? All right, you're just these guys, right? Let's just. And then I'm gonna try only use Ningua. Not gonna like use switch electric or any ice. <laughs> Didn't even get to use my buff. Healer. God damn, I could not see. Boot camera, bro. <laughs> Your eye frame. We're gonna just gonna forty. Oh my god, my jade one. If you kill him fast enough, then you can kill him before you put up. Maybe I should get rid of the electric guy first. Charge attack, charge attack, I'm holding the mouse. Alright, here comes the burst. Run through him. I'm even damaging him doing their shields. Right, let's just get wrecked. Let's just wreck them all. all 
I can see now you can just stand here and just like just like chill. One v one, man. I don't know about. I'll give me my OT. Yeah, bye bye. Geo shields, whatever, man. Done. All right, all right. Fire plant time. Of course, I can use the water, right? And I just brute force it. But nah, we're just gonna, we're just gonna. I didn't even take damage. We good. I'm gonna do this. What the? What the wall supposed to be go over there? Okay. No, stop! Stop targeting the things. Right. I got shield. Whatever. I have shields. Shields. Stand in front of it. <laughs> I can't even see what's happening. Oh, look at that damage. All right. Good. All right. Cool. Come on. Yeah, I have. I'll put this infographic in my Discord, so feel free to check that out. I'll probably post it on my Twitter and stuff and Instagram as well. Uh, if you guys want to use it, share it around. Make it make it easy to understand. I try to make it pleasing for the eyes. So feel free to share this around and fast information. And yeah, check out my socials down below. And I do stream on Twitch. I stream some Genshin, Pokemon, uh, Animal Crossing from time to time. So I'll hopefully see you guys around. Say hello. If you have any questions, drop by the stream. Ask me live if you want. Uh, or just post in the comments down below. Like, comment, subscribe, all that jizz, Naz. And with that, later days.